Julie with Artie Party Paints and today you're going to learn how to do a super cute panda design that's great for boys or girls and it only takes two brushes and two colors. So let's get started. All you need to paint your panda today is going to be your Wolf or Diamond FX black and white. So to start off you're going to take a filbert brush which is this kind of rounded one here, the flat one. You're going to load it up fully with white. Get lots of good paint on there. This is going to set off your base. Alright, so we're going to start by making a oval right where you want the head to be. Let's just create that oval and fill it in with white. Alright, and from there you're going to add a uh, teardrop shape. So start kind of in the middle of your oval here, just to give it um, good shape, and add a teardrop at the bottom there. So it kind of overlaps the face. That's going to be the tummy. And next you're going to add two circles right here at the bottom. Just attach those to your teardrop on each side. It's very simple shapes to make this really cool panda. And this is a good spot to add glitter if you want. I'm just going to floof it on there. This is Mama Clown's white cosmetic glitter. Alright, and finally now you just need your black liner brush. I use a number four. But you can use any size you want that you like. Alright, and so to start off with, I usually make this a boy panda, especially the picture in the picture that I have because it means that more boys will get it, usually, than if you make it a girl. But it's easy to make it a girl as well. You can give it a bow here in the middle and some eyelashes or just leave the hair like I'm going to do right now. So you're going to start with the hair. You're going to flick up, maybe one, two, three times, just like that. Make it nice and loose. And then come down and keep your outline fuzzy here. So just flick it down as you go to give it the effect of some fur. Again, just flick it down and around. Connect those two at the bottom. I try to keep that bottom line uh, more connected than the sides. The sides are, are good to be furry, but the bottom you want to make sure that it's a nice solid line. Now I add the ears, which are simple black circles on the edges here, right between, right on the each side of your hair tuft in the middle, just fill in a black circle. I'm just going to use your liner brush for all of this black work because it's faster than switching back and forth. I like to flick out on the ears again to give them a little bit of a fur texture. Now you outline the shapes that you already have down here. You're going to pull down to those circles. It's going to be the outline of his body and then you just circle right around those shapes that you already have there. Create a nice solid circle on these ones because these are his feet. Nice solid circle all the way around, right along the bottom. Now we're going to create his uh, bottom pads on his feet by simply laying your brush down once and then one, two, three dots. Once more, that's one lay down and then one, two, three dots for his pad, paw pads. To create the arms, you can either have them sticking out like he's giving you a hug, or I like to go right from the corner here and pull inwards. That helps to give the body a little bit um, more going on there than just leaving it a big white circle or teardrop. Alright, so that's your arms. You just pull in a little, little oval shape there, his little arms. Now for the face. This is the most important part, of course. You're going to do a little nose. I don't usually add a mouth. I actually just leave it as a nose, which is just like you did for the paws. You just kind of lay down your brush there to create an oval. You can add a little uh, sideways three if you wanted to add a little muzzle. I just like to leave it like this. And now the eyes. This is the other most important part. So to create your cuteness, you're going to make sure you keep your eyes wide. So the cuter something is, the wider its eyes usually are apart from each other. It's kind of like baby proportions. So you're just going to create two ovals to start with here that are upright like that. And keep them nice and far apart on either side of the nose. 
So that's going to be your basic part. And now you're going to, in towards the middle, towards the nose, create a backwards C just like that on each side. Just like that. And now, to finish it off, you're just going to create a, a backwards J shape. Like that. And fill in, just fill in a line so that you have two little eye spots in there, two little eye shines. Just like that. So I usually do a backwards J and then an upside down U to create that look. And then finally I just give it a little bit extra black along the bottom and the side. Just like that. You just kind of fill it in to give them those panda eyes. If your eyes aren't the shape that you want, this is the, this is the best place to reshape them. You can trim some of the white if your white's too big by just going over it with your black outline there. Very cute, so handsome, and you can be done right there. You could also dress it up a little bit. I like to add some little highlights just on the ears and a few stars. Very simple, really effective, and this design is so popular for girls and boys. So this is your boy panda. If you want to add the eyelashes, just go from this corner right here and flick out about two or three times and it'll make it instantly into a girl panda that's super cute. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this cute panda tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you next time.